next we'll talk about the ahu in short it's a ahu it's a, in short we used to call ahu it's an air handling unit and ahu is very important it's a central component of an hvc system responsible for conditioning and distributing the air it handles both supply and return air typically it's located in the mechanical room or we can use to call ahu room is a specific a separate room only for the ahu we can call ahu room or ahu with the other equipment we can call a plant room or a mechanical room or it can place on the rooftop if it is a rooftop model we have a different types in ahu also we'll discuss next you see ahu is designed to serve multiple spaces within a building here remember zone refers to thermostat so one ahu means one thermostat so we cannot say multiple zones with one ahu except the vr v except this uh, uh, this uh, variable air volume vav system with the ahu we can connect the vav box so that we can achieve the multiple zone with a single ahu so we'll discuss at the time of uh, talking about the vav system we have a separate topic for vav so ahu the capacity based on the capacity it can serve the multiple spaces or it can be for the complete floor or maybe complete building as per the capacity because you see the available capacity is up to 1 lakh cfm nothing but 250 tr but again in, the, in that also you'll find the different types if it is a ceiling suspended the capacity is different if it is a floor mounted so depend as per the type also so we'll discuss the type next only but before this you see residential ahus generally available 5 to 10 tr it's a general uh, range this may vary as per the make and even as per the location also if you talk about skm or zamil or carrier or daikin so <coughs> so that the range will vary in general for entry point of view you can consider residential 5 to 10 tr commercial 5 to 15 and remember 5 to 10 or 5 to 15 both you can consider as a ceiling suspended and i'll show you how, how what is ceiling suspended like fcu we have a ceiling suspended but above 15 tier generally you'll find floor mounted but in actual practice you can find carrier or blue star like 16 tier 17 tier ceiling suspended but most commonly in actual practice ahu is available uh, ceiling suspended up to 15 tier above that you'll find floor mounted how exactly ceiling suspended floor mounted i'll show you the images give me a minute so you see commercial 5 to 15 tier and if you talk about large commercial and industrial 15 to 250 tr a single unit is available and remember up to 15 tr is available means uh, in in the market you can place the order but above 15 tr means higher capacity that should be made to order okay it's not uh, ready-made available and apart from this the capacity of the fan that will provide as per our requirement we need to do the esp calculation for the fan so that is made to order and uh, even the fan capacity the blower they will change accordingly as per the project requirement because if you talk about ahu means definitely will connect the duct it can be a ceiling yeah. suspender or it can be floor mounted will connect the duct and duct means depend as per the project requirement the duct length length can be of 100 feet 200 feet 300 feet depends right from the mm -hmm. location we are supplying the air to the multiple spaces or to multiple floors so we required a calculation for the fan capacity so for that we have a separate topic at this level the capacity available up to 250 tier nothing but 1 lakh cfm very big unit i'll show you some images you'll get the idea but before this different types what are the components you can consider from this side you can find the filter now. suction side you see here is a back filter it can be a special type filter or it can be HEPA filter depend on as per the application high efficiency particular air filter that if you are using this for uh, clean rooms next you will find the heat exchanger so remember in ahu you will find the cooling coil plus heating coil or only cooling coil cooling plus heating as per the requirement or only cooling as per the project requirement because it's a big cabinet so we have the option for the multiple coils and you'll find the fan and remember this is a belt driven i'll show you some more images just let me give you some basic idea with the, with more images i'll cover all the sections of the ahu this is just a preview so one more difference between fcu and ahu technical difference fcu fan motor is directly connected to the blower the shaft is directly connected to the blower but in case of ahu we are using this belt and pulleys first the capacity because of higher capacity and second by changing the size of the pulley one can change the rpm of the blower 
to match the CFM requirement on site, that is at the time of balancing. We have other reasons also. So these are the components. Give me a minute. Let me complete the types. In between the types, I'll give you more details with other images. Okay, in that the in this image, the options are not uh, clearly visible. I have some more images to discuss more details. Next, so if you talk about the types, the list I've given here, so you can find on screen. First is a ceiling suspended AHU. Let me read this. I'll show you all these images. We'll discuss in detail because this is an important topic. First is a ceiling suspended AHU. Next is a floor mounted in a separate uh, AHU room. If there is no space inside the building for the AHU room, one can order for rooftop AHU. And remember, rooftop AHU, if you want, you can make a note with the double skin. I think you remember this, this term, double skin. Double skin means the body with insulation, as we discussed at the time of package. Okay. Yes, yes. And here, one more point. Remember, package air side also we can consider as a HU. That we used to call package HU. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, in actual practice, if someone is calling the package as package HU, don't get confused. We can call even the package also rooftop. I'm talking about rooftop package. So, you can call rooftop package also a package HU, air side. Uh, uh, air side uh, unit and you know air side unit in package which is placed outside it should be double skin uh, with insulation similarly if you are placing this ahu on roof means outside the on roof or outside the building this must be with insulation means double skin next modular ahu for modular ahu i'll play this video this is new in the market next we have a hydronic ahu hydronic means the ahu which is used the source of supply as water, not refrigerant. Hydronic. The hydronic means the term refers to the water, not hydro. So this is a water, uh, this nothing but connected to the chiller. So if I use the AHU for the chiller, we can call it as a hydronic AHU. Next, DX AHU and DX AHU. Similarly, this is a water side AHU. Hydro means water. If I use this AHU with the chill water system to supply the water in the coil to cool the air, that we use that, that nothing but the hydronic or water supply heat pump or water side AHU or DXAHU. DXAHU means the refrigerant in the coil. The source of, of that cooling medium is different, but the concept is same. But same, the model and the capacity is going to be different, the coil size, etc. Even the unit size also. Next, we have a constant volume AHU. Constant volume AHU means the fan motor inside the AHU run with the same speed, which is used with uh, which is used for CAV system. Constant air volume. We have a separate topic for this. All air air conditioning system. In that we'll discuss CAV, VAV, and the dual duct. So constant volume AHU. Remember, if you want, you can make a note. This is for CAV system, the common system. But next we have a variable air volume AHU. This is for VAV system, variable air volume system. We have an interesting concept for this. We'll discuss. In this uh, in this VAV variable air volume, AHU, the fan motor with the VFD drive. And what is VF, VFD already we discussed now? Okay, so don't get confu confused with the term. VFD, VRF, VAV, v, uh, this, uh, this AHU. So we have different terms. So CAV, VAV related to air site. Okay, so what we discussed in the previous, that is VRF, or variable refer VRF or VRV. This is VAV. Okay, so this is VAV or CAV is air site. VRF or VRV is a refrigerant site. So this uh, AHU with a VFD drive that we can call as a variable air volume AHU. Why? We'll discuss at the time of talking about the VAV. Next is a, next we have a separate or special type of uh, AHU which is used for a clean room. And clean room, you know, already we discussed the, at the beginning. One example of clean room is a pharmaceutical, form, this pharmaceutical site, preparation of uh, medicines. That area we can call, call as a clean room or uh, this manufacturing of uh, precision equipments or manufacturing of Intel motherboards or electronic uh, boards. That area we used to call clean room. And the concept of clean room is we are providing the fresh and clean air. Clean air up to say 100%, 99.9 by using a, he a special filter called HEPA filter, high efficiency particulate air filter or we have a ULP filter. And why we are considering this as separate AHU? Because the fan capacity of this AHU is very high. Because you are using a HEPA filter 
so the filtration is up to 99.9 percent and because of the filtration the pressure drop is very high so we required very high capacity fan in that unit so we have a separate category for this class a uh, clean room ah next we have a heat recovery ah i'll show you the image we'll discuss with more heat recovery ah means the ah with the hru hru is in short we used to call it. it's a heat recovery unit or eru energy recovery unit we'll discuss just uh, let me read this points first next we have a fahu also known as tfu fahu is a fresh air handling unit or t in some drawings you will find tfu treated fresh air unit so let me show you the images we'll discuss with more details first in the list is what ceiling suspended ahu let me show you the image for ceiling suspended you see this is ceiling suspended ahu here we can connect the duct and you can identify this is a mild steel pipe so this this ahu belongs to what hydronic system nothing but chill water system application wise i can say that in uh, vrv or vrv and ductible you can use that. no no you see Still. this pipe this pipe is what this is a mild water. steel pipe no so this is water side belongs to chillers any anyway, forget about the chiller and all at this level just focus on the ahu this is a ceiling suspended ahu we can hang on the ceiling and we can connect that up or else for some more images you see this is a side view this also ceiling suspended you can find this coil you can find this fan motor if the capacity is limited the same unit you can call as a ducted fcu right mm -hmm. so don't get confused based on the capacity we can classify this as a hu or fcu so if the capacity above 5 tr we can call this as a hu below 5 tr suppose 3 tr we can call as this as a you see floor motor hu Generally, you know, floor motor AHU above 15 TR. Na? Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll find big capacity Absolutely. with the floor motor AHU. So you'll find this one example. You see floor motor. Again, this is connected to chill water system. Generally, high capacity means you'll find with the chillers. <laughs> but don't worry, we have not discussed about the chill water system. In detail, we'll discuss very, very important topic in the next session. Let me complete this. So this unit is a floor motor AHU. You see, left side is a supply duct. And on the top, you can consider this as a return duct. And you can consider same, this example, same like a package, roof, a rooftop package. In rooftop package, you'll find the condensing side also with a compressor. But here, this is the only air side. Okay. So system wise, system wise, I can say that uh, for this floor mounted AHU means it will be system uh, water cool or air cool chiller type only, right? Yes, because system air capacity. No? By default, yes. So, you see this is floor motor ahu and supply duct return duct and how to provide the fresher that also we'll discuss let me complete these types first again i'll show you these images at the time of chill and the time of this air cool and water cold chiller because it's a part of that next you see rooftop ahu rooftop ahu you can consider this example see this is place <clears throat> on the roof and you see don't get confused if i place the ahu on the roof with supply and return duct you can call as a rooftop ahu if there is no return duct the same unit will change to fahu so at this level assume that this is for supply other side you'll find the return duct and we are placing outside the building and this should be double skin means you'll find this after this sheet metal you'll find the insulation mostly thermocol or polyurethane then one more cabinet or without cabinet means insulated body i'll show you the com the components of this you see different sections of ahu this is a mixing chamber where return air and fresh air can mix assume that this left side this is this opening will connect to return duct and will provide the fresh air to the to the return with the opening like how we did at the time of package so this is this chamber is called mixing chamber okay this section after that, you'll find the filter. You see, this section is for filter. You'll find the different types of filter as per the application. Most commonly for residential and, uh, and commercial, you'll find the fibrous filter. Okay, so this is a fibrous filter. Next section is for the cooling coil. You see, this section is for cooling coil. And you can read chill water flow chill water return so this ahu for which system chill water system okay 
so this is a cooling coil inside you'll find the cooling coil you know what is cooling coil in your pretty coil and after that one more section is for the fan motor so you see the fan motor and this is a fan casing inside you'll find the blower and you can see the pulley and the belt and this pulley size on site we can change to maintain the required rpm for adjustment on site because exact required cfm ahu may not be available okay so for example on site we required 10000 cfm but the machine is delivering say 11000 so we can adjust with the size of the pulley on site miss just be a normal adjustment will not go for more adjustment because initially we'll provide this information to the vendor according to that they will provide but precise adjustment can be done by changing this size of the pulley and apart from this you'll find this spring which is which act as the isolator to reduce the vibration from this motor to the to the body and this casing also connected to this body with the canvas cloth you see this is a canvas cloth and this the purpose of this canvas cloth also to cut the vibration from this casing to the body and before connecting the duct also we'll use this canvas cloth to cut the vibration if any any vibration from the unit to the duct that we can cut again with the canvas cloth this point again i'll repeat at the time of eight side system this is just a preview at this level just focus on this ahu so this is a floor mounted or say sorry this is a roof rooftop ahu and this must be double skin you see in between this sheet metal and the outside sheet metal you'll find the insulation if you not use the insulation you know the energy is going to be lost and this is very very important and the cost also uh the cost of this unit uh, is going to be more compared with the single skin 